Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So I got a fun, 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 fun project to do today. Still bloody cold. Uh, it's minus 32 before the wind chill today. So gonna stay indoors. Uh, got my little space heater going here. Got my other heater going here. Uh, so it shouldn't be too bad in here. So basically what we're building today is a rabbit box. Um, Basically, I want to start catching some of the cottontails that are running around my yard here. Uh, but I also, if I happen to catch uh, them within the city limits, if I happen to catch a cat or something like that, I don't want it to be hurt or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build just a simple box. It's going to have a little trap door. It's going to close. And if we catch something that we don't want, we can easily just let it go. So let's get started with the build. Yeah, so I got a bunch of scrap uh, pieces of chipboard. That be, so I might as well use this all up. Uh, I think this piece alone should be enough for what we need to do with it. And uh, we'll get this uh, build started. Now I am basing this off of another YouTuber's build, The Bearded Woodsman. I'll post his video down in the link. Uh, he's the one who definitely gave me the idea for this. Uh, so I'm really excited to get a little bit of uh, free and easy protein on the table. And also anybody that has a garden in the city knows how much these rabbits are a nuisance when it comes to gardening. So. If I can eliminate some of the rabbit population out here, my garden's gonna do better, and mine and Olivia's uh, bellies will be full. So I got the top piece and I got the bottom piece. The bottom piece is 19 by eight. The top piece is 16 by eight. So it's just gonna have a little a little porch. Now uh, I'm gonna make the side pieces. I also made uh, the wall pieces eight inches high. So uh, here's the back wall. So made a little slit here so you can kind of see what goes in there. Um, but one thing I'm gonna do different than the, what the Beard Woodsman did because basically what had happened was when this door closed, he wasn't able to see in the box, it was pretty dark. So on the side, I am gonna drill a couple big holes with my, uh, with my bigger bit. That way we'll let some light in and then we'll be able to see exactly what's in there. So if we have to release it, so it can be safe. There we go. Should work pretty good. And again, I'm trying to build a uh, humane trap because I don't want to harm any animals, even the animals that I will be uh, eating. I don't want them to suffer. That's uh, that's not right. So. But, you know, unfortunately, it's like they say, there's something called a circle of life. And within city limits, really, rat, the only predators that uh, rabbits really have is cats. 
this time of year there's no cats outside and really the cats aren't really doing much to the rabbit populations they're going pretty crazy here in the city so so if I can uh, eliminate a few rabbits I mean it's not a bad thing um, same with some gray squirrels. Uh, there's a couple gray squirrels that uh, look like they they were trying to get into my garage. So so maybe this spring I might uh, trap a couple gray squirrels as well. And uh, so we'll see. So there's the door. Basically, I wanted the door to be a heavier piece of wood um, for a simple fact that I want some weight to this, so it'll it's gonna slam shut on its own. Might be too heavy, we'll see. latch so when this closes it can't be reopened unless you uh, hit the latch there you go so I'll show you the mechanism here I built uh, super 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 easy very simple made this out of a coat hanger basically uh, you know the hardest part was figuring out uh, the fit here right because you you want it to be a pretty hair trigger but not too hair where the the wind's gonna set it off so just a little messing around but boom rabbit stew so I'm pretty happy with the build very very easy didn't cost me anything. I had all the had all the pieces. Definitely, I feel like I improved on the design a little bit, and I can really put this almost anywhere. So, uh, like I said, I don't have to worry about catching something I don't want. Don't have to worry about harming any animals. Any little screws that were sticking through, I cut all the little ends off. Um, yeah. So now we'll be able to. Uh, get rid of some nuisance animals and have a, a tasty little meal. So let's go in the yard. We'll uh, find an area where there's a lot of trails. So thanks for uh, joining along so far. Let's go find us a nice little place to uh, put this rabbit box and hopefully we'll catch something. So got some tasty rabbit food. Nice uh, apples. I'll uh, show you guys where I'm set up here. So basically, I got a rabbit trail coming in through here. Got a rabbit trail coming down through here. Also got some poops right there. I got a rabbit trail back here as well. So I'm gonna put it right here for now. We're gonna. Food. Right in there. Now it's just a waiting game and see and see. Hopefully we're right in there and we'll have a rabbit in the morning. Thanks again for watching guys. Really fun little build. Uh, if I get a rabbit, I'll add it at the end of this video, but uh, for now, we're just going to leave it there. Uh, if you're liking what you're seeing, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, all that junk, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.